Bay City, Michigan, a town which gave five Scotsmen with feather cuts their name and begat a living legend. She arrived a penniless teen serving cakes in mid-70s New York. By the end of the 80s, she was the most famous lion-shagging women's liver in the world. I've got to tell you, if you think Madonna is a feminist, Jeffrey Dahmer is a vegetarian. I think she's a feminist. She's a crusader. When she very first came out with Like a Virgin and was writhing on this gondola in Italy, I thought, what is that? And then gradually she became more and more chic. People could see that this was a woman who had a sense of humour, who wasn't taking herself too seriously, and also had a brain as well. Ching, ching, ching. Brains, balls and bras made Madonna Ciccone a superstar. As the decade turned, she cast personal crises and bubblegum pop behind her. The new look decade began with a classic, Nick from a dance in New York's underground gay clubs. Strike a pose. Madonna is a total 100% gay icon, and Vogue was the record of the year. The one thing I remember about Vogue is everybody trying to copy the routine, and I think the funny thing is how many people just couldn't do it. Half the people looked like they were just trying to swat a fly. The award-winning video set the scene for the international live event of the year. The box office smashing Blonde Ambition Tour. In 1990, Madonna started to look like something Ridley Scott did for a bet. The Blonde Ambition Tour, she knew what she kind of wanted to look like, so she just brought John Paul Gaultier in. You know, the conical bra, Madonna in a conical bra, is a, an image that has lasted since then. That encapsulates Madonna. Satire, a really vivid sense of show business not to mention shock value. Madonna's lascivious on-stage antics sparked uproar in Catholic Rome and even a call for the police in Toronto. Some people are outraged by my behaviour, but I, I was quite surprised to find out that I may possibly be arrested for my behaviour. You know, after all, it is a performance, it's a theatrical performance, and it's not like I'm going out on the street, you know, um, running around without my clothes on. Even fully clothed, by the time 1990s Madonna mania reached Britain, the tabloids were rigid with indignation. It really was like the circus had come to town, and um, every day she she was the running soap opera in the tabloids. She was the, the posh and Becks of 1990. Some guys like to talk. And here you can see Madonna being taken by Warren Beatty, to the premiere of Dick Tracy. This chapter of La Ciccone's on-off affair with Hollywood clearly had a profound effect on her songwriting. There's something to me about Hanky Panky that seems very Benny Hill. She kind of thought she could do anything. So she just took it down the kind of like, you know, let's plant a little harder, kind of, you know, just to find my love. I want to kiss you in Paris. The video's risque, but at the same time really subtle. It's really exploring female fantasy and desire. I don't want to be a mother. There's these overtones of lesbianism and slight hints of S&M as well. This is why she's monumentally famous, because she doesn't just sit there making good records. She'll go and sit on herself in public. She's, you know, she's a, a dirty girl. Wanting, needing, waiting for you to justify my love. Ladies, please. Ten years ago, less liberal views prevailed. The steamy clip was banned, but that only boosted sales when it was shrewdly flooded onto the retail market. Apparently it was changing hands for vast sums of money in Saudi Arabia, in, in bazaars, um, because it was considered um, really, really high quality porn. A multi-platinum greatest hits album capped a triumphant year. And Madonna went on working at the coalface of rampant sexuality. The artistic merits of her metal-clad coffee table book, Sex, were lost on the critics, but richly enjoyed by builders. Whoa. 
She was pilloried for that sex book, and she she fought back. But it's noticeable that after that she did tone down her act quite a bit, and um, and then really started to concentrate on the music. It seems to have worked. She's on her best form of late, enjoying her music and motherhood, and clearly still retaining her sense of humour. I never want to be taken completely seriously. I think that that's the death of anyone.